Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and we are going to be casting game number two of the series between Zip and Sonda. So, up the top left side of the map. It is going to be our blue Protoss player, Zip, who did an excellent, excellent job last game, getting out all of those Immortals, all of those Colossus, just a massive amount of army, and doing a really, really great base push at the end of the game, while at the same time doing an extremely awesome base defense versus Sonda's huge Mutalisk uh, Roach Hydra push that was just all over the place. And yeah, down the bottom right side of the map is going to be our green Zerg player Sonda. And yeah, he's going to be thinking, what the hell do I need to do here? Because Jip has proven to be an extremely awesome player in the, in the first game. He's uh, done everything right. He's really pushed out, he's really done the damage. And Sonda tried to do it, but, I mean, he just... Yeah, the defense of Jip was just so good, and Jip still had a massive amount of, uh, a massive amount of attacking forces out there taking apart Sonda's own base. So, yeah, he's, uh, he did get a little bit screwed in that game, so he's going to have to have to try and pull something out here to um, try and do something. We can see... He's going for a pull first. I believe he did this uh, previous game as well, although his hatchery was uh, delayed by a little bit due to the uh, excellent, uh, excellent execution of the hatchery dance by Jip. But we will see. We will see how it goes. And it looks like uh, Jip is going for a fast expansion once again, going for the forge fast expand, which uh, yeah, um, this is it's pretty good. I don't know, man. I've uh, been playing a few ladder games, and I've noticed that uh, when you tend to forge fast expand as uh, as a Protoss player against Zerg, I don't know. Fast expanding versus Zerg, I I, I can't handle it. But then, of course, Jip is a uh, vastly better player than I am. So uh, I no doubt that if he if he w was going to be like a ten pull coming out or something like that, then he'd probably do a little bit better. And also, I guess you. Uh, He's, he's seen the expansion coming out, so... <laughs> that actually... I tell you why, I tell you why he's going for the Forge Fast Expand. Because he's cannon rushing over here. He's cannon rushing the natural expansion of Sonda. And that is just rubbing salt in the wounds. Not to be confused with the uh, player, Salt the Wound, who was actually knocked out in, I think, the round of 32 or something like that. But yeah, this is really going to be a very, very nasty piece of work. From Jip, but then again, I mean, bronze level tactics, why the hell not? You just go in there, you just knock him out, and Sonda is not going to be able to deal with this. He knows it's going on, he's building a ton of lings, but this awesome, awesome cannon placement. Look at these guys right behind the minerals. You can only attack that with two lings, maybe get some more around, but the amount is just getting too high. This queen should be able to uh, take this down quite a bit, finish this off. So that one's not... Oh, look at that beautiful cancel right at the last second. But he's just going to continue to build him right there. He's going to want to have two or three cannons going on. He's actually building four. And I, I don't know if they're all powered by this pylon. So I don't think uh, I don't think the Zerg player's got any chance of defeating this pylon. Though. Maybe put a queen up there. Hit it from the side. But that is going to be too slow. The hatchery is going to go down. And immediately he's expanding to the third base as well. Because he knows he's going to lose this base. Two queens coming out, but and the link's finally going in, but with all of these cannons, man, they just get absolutely annihilated. Two hits to defeat a Ling, and this queen, getting a little bit ahead of herself, does get wiped out. And yes, very, very nasty, but it's done. I'm not sure if... Uh, I don't think Jip is going to continue on with that cannon push. I think he's done as much as he really needs to. The probe is going to go home happy, or maybe just scout around for a little while. He's got his nexus fully up. And that's impressive, getting a Nexus while you're in the uh, middle of a cannon push. But he hasn't got much else at the moment. He's really got to start getting the tech down now. And really starting to get out the army because... Sonda may be screwed here, but I think in terms of uh, in terms of army... Well, he hasn't got that much, but he did lose 300 minerals on a hatchery. But I suppose that, yeah, he's, um, he's going to be definitely pushing out a lot more army or... I, I really don't know, actually. Sonda, maybe maybe he's just planning on catching up on economy right now, which is, wouldn't be a bad idea. Look at that. He's even getting an actual third base over here. So he's going to be going nuts on the economy. 
And yeah, Jip is is definitely got an advantage because he's forced Sonder to expand to uh, less easily defendable positions. Although this this base is way open as far as uh, as far as Jip uh, is concerned, he can just go over there and just hit it whenever he wants uh, from multiple directions. Actually, from uh, the top left and the bottom left, just whenever he wants and. Yeah, but he's just going to be going on getting the normal tech options. It's a little bit late, but he's still doing pretty well. He's 37 over 35 right about now, so definitely still uh, beating the Zerg player, which is always a good position to be in in the early game when you're forcing, when you're off against a Zerg player because the Zerg will usually always be ahead of you unless you get up to the really, really late game and you go for an insane amount of workers. Then you can sort of beat them, but mostly... The Zerg will be beating you in terms of uh, economy, and really no nice to see that um, that Jip is pushing out there, getting it done. But it's not going to be for long, I think. I think that Sonder is definitely going to be pushing out a ton of workers to get back into it. He wants to get this third base going, and there we go. He's nearly caught up, and not quite. Uh, however, yeah, I mean, what is this? Is he building... He's building a mothership core. I was wondering what that weird light is. I thought maybe that... So, yeah, that is a mothership core. I think it might have been... I think it might have been the same animation for when you build a mothership in Wings of Liberty, but I can't really remember. And again, being a little bit annoying right now, but... Yeah, hopefully it should get back in a second. And, yeah, finally taking down these rocks. Finally doing some good stuff. And yeah, very, very, very interesting. But we gotta be, uh, we gotta be a bit careful of the ship. He's got three, seven, seven gateways going on here. So he's he hasn't built much of an army so far. He's got these guys, and these guys are gonna be doing a good job. But I feel like I feel like Sonder should be able to handle this force at this point in the game. Um, he's definitely got the economy to handle these guys. So the question is, has he built enough army? And I think the answer might be yes, but look at this, Jip using the cannons as a as a uh, forward base of sorts to push out whenever he feels like he might get overwhelmed. He just retreats back to the cannons, and these guys could not afford to uh, chase him into the cannons, man. They will just get owned all over the place by those cannons, especially since there's so many links in this army. So yeah, right now, Jip just having the run of this base, just pulling back whenever he needs to. And doing some great damage. Sonder trying to get the forces up he needs. But, I don't know, man. I mean, with seven gateways going on from Jip, constantly warping in reinforcements, I think over time, I think the Jip is just going to be, uh, just going to end up in the lead. I mean, he's, uh, look at the active forces, man. He's got a massive amount of forces, and they just keep getting more and more and more and more and more. And, uh, Sonder is just at a disadvantage, man. He's got some nice forces, but... Jip is all over the place. He's over here, he's over there, he's cutting off the reinforcements. He's cutting off these forces from sort of grouping up and attacking him as one group. There's just three individual groups constantly streaming into the one mass of Protoss units and it just it just didn't work out. They were too spaced out. They weren't hitting them all at the same time. As much as Sonder probably tried to make them hit all at the same time, they just couldn't do it because of the way they were spawning. And... Yeah, it doesn't help that roaches and lings take a different amount of time to actually produce. So, yeah, I mean, really, really good play there from Jip. He did have to go a little bit cheesy. Well, he didn't have to go a little bit cheesy, but he wanted to go a little bit cheesy to, uh, to uh, take out their win, but it did work for him. And he is going to be facing off in the uh, in the quarterfinals, and he is going to be going against either Zhedong or Vortex. Um, and that is going to be a ZVZ game coming up, which is going to be freaking awesome to cast, because Zhedong, of course, an awesome, awesome player, and, uh, yeah, Vortex, a pretty awesome player as well, so we are, we are going to see which one of those will go on to the quarterfinal to face off against Zip, and we will be casting those guys very, very soon, so this has been Harry Muppet, and I hope you enjoyed this game.